Hello and welcome back to Minecraft, um, modded edition? Something? My name is Michael Batman Guy, and whatever I'm gonna call this, I need to find some food. We are desperately hungry, and I have at my disposal some rock and some flowers, none of which will fill my belly. So, now that we have shelter and tools, let's uh, poke our head outside and avoid the uh, deathly skeletons in armor and enchanted bows and see where this uh... oh! hello zombie who is not dying in a horrible fire this is what I get for living next to a pond although I guess the uh, helmet is also helping him no matter he's a match for us Apparently the uh, creeper pod is not a solid block. I can walk right through it. Okay. I know that. Ooh! We even got a uh, free iron ingot. How lucky is that? And our first piece of Minisio Essence. Part of the new version of Magical Crops. A previous version that I'm more familiar with required us to mine that essence in order to make our magical crops for growing all of the many great things, such as iron. Uh, that's part of how I plan to avoid long bouts of mining is by, well, growing everything eventually. And apparently, I don't even have to mine to get started with magical crops. Oh, dark grass. We can just kill things. But that doesn't get us food. That actually, uh, wastes it. So very carefully I need to go and Gather some of these berries. Ah! Oh! Game! What's happening? Oh, it's a tiny skeleton! It's adorable and deadly! Where'd he go? There he is. I am not equipped to deal with this. I'm starting to like my lush redwoods less and less as it provides way too much cover. And my house is guarded. Great, I guess I'm making a new door. Sorry, tool station. Uh, right. Okay, so let's just uh, hide in here like a coward until we starve to death. Wonderful. And I've now finally reached the point where I'm so hungry I'm not... Regaining... Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Flint hatchet. Don't fail me now. Ha! Take that! No more shooting in the face! Nope, 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 nope! Oh dear! Just one at a time. Ah! I survived! Barely! Let's go pick up his essence. Oh dear. Oh, this is really getting bad. Oh no, now I have to face you. Ow! There's nothing else I can do! Hurry! Kill him faster! Oh yes! Oh victory! Oh victory! Berries! Blackberries! You are... Most welcome gift. Pick, pick, pick. That sand anymore. Oh, one skeleton died over here. No time to get back home. Eat now. Oh, much better. No longer starving. We have, however, used up a good deal of our... What do you want to call it? Buffer? From Spice of Life, you get what, 24 eatings or something before you get diminishing returns for eating the same thing. I guess... This tells us I have 13 more. So I don't want to burn it all on berries because they restore so little hunger, but that's all I have right now. Plus I'm covered in arrows now. I got that going for me. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and plant these flowers. Just get them out of my inventory. But also to make the house look a little nicer. Sure, let's start a flower garden. Okay. 
That was a bit crazy morning. Let's uh, find some real food. Can I eat that? No? An herb garden! Perfect! Ah, yes. Excellent. We've got uh, what, some coffee beans, some mustard, and an edible root. Excellent. More herbs. I do love herbs. I'm definitely going to need uh, more storage back home after this trip. Uh-oh. Well, what happened there? Okay, it seems for the most part my FPS is okay, even while recording, but every once in a while it decides it's unhappy. And I don't know what all is changing to do that. Uh, what else we got out here? Ooh, this looks like leafy gardens. Yes! Perfect! Some actual vegetables. Should probably be a little more filling than, uh, you know, mustard seeds. Textiles, I'm gonna leave those for now. I don't need string or cloth or anything at the moment. I do need more, uh, food. And I'm out of inventory space already. So let's see, what can I, uh, eat up here? Let's just eat through these roots. And what's the most filling? Nothing. Everything's practically the same. Okay, so it doesn't matter. We'll just eat this and a soybean. Sure. We'll find more of them eventually. I'm not worried about keeping a spare for seeds or anything. I really just want to get a look around. Find a more reliable source. There's a cow. I could get some steak. Start eating that beef. That'd be pretty good. Really hoping that I could discover a village here. Because that would provide a large amount of... What is this? Light mini grass. Yes, the village would have, you know, its own farms and things already established. I could easily raid those for not skeletons. Not skeletons. Skeletons are bad and unedible. Um, I would rather have bread and wheat and make toast and sandwiches and all that delicious stuff, not uh, bones and arrows to the face. Please. Okay. Oh, dear. Hi! Um, you are ironically related to a village, being a zombie villager, but we're not, we're not going to deal with this. No, 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 no. Nope, no, we are not equipped. Not at all equipped. We're just gonna go back and... Hey, I think these are actually, uh, blueberry bushes, even. So here's more food. Excellent. Right at our doorstep. This was an even more perfect spawning location than I could have imagined. Alright. There, once again, safe in the house. And I have, uh, not much to, to really show for it. I don't have enough wood to make a chest. At least put that down. Oh good. Somebody's at the door. Let's see. Yeah, the flint hatchet says... Oh, the mattock actually does more damage, interestingly enough. Okay. We'll fight you with the mattock. Bring it on! Aha! Take this! Good. Good, that, that takes care of that. Um, now that I think about it, I don't know if I actually want to chop down the uh, tree I spawned in. Because then if I do spawn there, I will promptly fall to the ground. So let's avoid the guy in the golden armor. Or not. He could just, uh, you know, come right at me. Aha! Can't reach me now! Yes, so, uh, this is Minecraft. Welcome to Zombie Town. Yeah, go over there. Run. Run away, Simba, and never return. 
He must have soiled his armor, he was so scared. Now he has to take a bath. Ha! Oh, now you're all clean, you think you're ready for me? You and your... I don't even know what that is. It's not gold, it's got more texture to it. Uh, I do have... What are you called? Metallurgy... Three... Four... Whatever version we're on now. And that adds a lot more ores, as you can actually see in the hillside right here. And metals and alloys you can make in the game. Uh, I find that that makes... Not for more lag, hopefully. But it makes for a more interesting experience when I do have to go down and go mining. I like being able to find more things and not just... Walls and walls of blank stone. Really, this guy, what is he doing? Like, run away, and then attack a little bit, and then run away, and attack a little bit. What is, you, what is your strategy, strange zombie in fancy armor? Yeah, I, I bet that's one of the metallurgy metals. Huh, well, okay. You stay over there. And, no, no, he's coming back. All right. We'll take him on. Now we're free to move around. And quick slash with the flint medic. Aha! Weren't expecting that. How are you? It takes care of him. It also does a great number on our food hunger situation. But no matter, we'll have that resolved soon enough. Soon enough, just as soon as I get some more materials. I'll be able to actually plant some of these in the ground, grow some more. And... Oops, I seem to have taken one too many. To spiral my way up here. And we'll just spend the night lumberjacking. It, uh, it seemed to uh, pass the time quite well last episode, so why not? It's a much nicer view than going underground and mining. Although, to be honest, uh, well, with the mods installed, I think the desert is actually pretty interesting to look at. You've got multiple different kinds of cacti and the little shrub plants. Of course, I believe it's Biomes of Plenty that puts in patches of quicksand. It's just what we need. More death. But I actually like that I spawn near a desert. Uh, being a vanilla biome, it can sometimes be hard to find when you have other biome mods installed. Um, it's just one of those, if you're looking for a particular biome, it's always tricky to come across. Because it becomes, you know, one out of, you know, a hundred or so. And it's that much rarer. And very few biomes uh, are composed entirely of sand. So this will allow us to get lots of sand, make tons of glass, or what have you. Or, uh, 43, that's, that's more than enough. Let's get out of this tree. It's dark and boring in there. And you might think to yourself, aha, that is iron gravel ore. We could harvest that. Alas, we cannot, because even the gravel ore requires the tiered tool progression of iguanas tinkers tweaks. Iguanas tinker tweaks? Tinker iguana tweaks? Yes. So I'm going to need a, a shovel that is better than flint. Uh, before I can do that. I believe the first thing I need to pick up is copper in order to do that. For now, let's um, make some storage options. We got a bunch of planks here. Four, four chests, that should be good. Uh, we'll just uh, put them Next to that, sure, and up top, and over here, and 
in this corner. There we go. I don't really want to put them on top of all the uh, crafting stations. I mean, I can access access them from the side, but it just feels weird. So about that, and we can put in some of this food in here, right? Um, eight more times, then diminishing results. Ooh, okay. And we'll put in the uh, monster drops and things down here. Why not? And other miscellaneous materials can go in this chest, including our extra door for now. Ooh, we can, however, use these. Let's see, berry bowl, berry powder, blueberry slushy, blueberry muffin. Those sound delicious. Let me use any eye here to see recipes. How might I go about making some of these? Milk and sugar. I don't have access to. Could make the berry bowls. It'd definitely help if I can find a different type of berry. It's much like the berry medley you can make in the other one. Oh, and here's the muffin. I just gotta add bread. Oh, and I've been thinking about it too long and not eating fast enough. Oh dear. Okay. World domination with open blocks. Yes, I have open blocks. That should be useful. Mariculture. Um, that would be a great source of food, actually. Start fishing. Is it, uh, can light out? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Let's keep going. A sheep! Hey. Hmm. Kill you or not to kill you? I'm not really desperate for a bed at this point. So I'm not gonna kill three sheep just for that. Plus, I should be able to, uh... Alright, we can pluck the, uh, the garden. That's not what I wanted to do. You break it. The cotton. And we'll leave one here. The gardens are able to spread. Uh, they have a random chance to spread to nearby valid grass blocks. But this, let me see. Three of them can make a string. And of course you can turn it into seeds to replant. So that'll be actually, this might be the solution right here. Let's go like this, get a bunch of string, and I don't have any sticks. And I can make a fishing rod. Hooray! Alright. Let's see, is this pond big enough? Yes, yes it is. Ooh, and you can actually, uh, see some things in there. Oh, I got something. What is this? Raw perch. Excellent. Should be able to cook that up into a nice, tasty morsel. I believe that's mariculture, adding the extra... Oh, we gotta be careful with that guy. The little bubbles that show, like, something swimming around towards your bobber. That is so cool. I need to stand on the same level here. I, m I might dig this out and move my whole shack just down lower to be on level with the water. Wow, this is going a lot faster and easier than vanilla fishing usually, usually is. What was that one? Did I, did I, did I catch it? Didn't, oh! Eel! Really? From Pam's Harvest Crafts. Okay. Probably used for sushi or something? California roll. Hey, all right. Fish dinner. Yep, and there's sushi. Excellent. Okay, yeah, lots of options there. That'd be very nice. Okay. Thank you, Textile Garden, for the fishing rod. That will... Because, I mean... 
right? Most of these can be smelted down into regular cooked fish. Yeah. Which is a snack more than anything else we've had. I don't have other... I don't have a lemon or access to mayonnaise yet to make anything else, really. Or bread. I really need bread. There's a reason that grain becomes the staple of civilization. Because it is easily harvestable and plentiful and filling. Not to mention delicious. So let's continue to explore a little bit, you know, on a uh, emptying stomach, and I didn't bring any of the food with me, like a smart person would have. But, uh, olive cactus. Can I eat that? No. Okay, you can sit right there. Chickens! We have chickens! Excellent. I should quickly set up a uh, chicken farm. I know how to make... you just coop them up on top of a hopper and just infinite eggs. Infinite eggs. All right. What else we got around here? Kneeling Angelica. Uh, blackberry bush. That's the same type we have next to the house, so don't need to worry about that. Gourd Garden got nothing but pumpkins. Okay. I can't actually eat these right away, though. It's a bit of a problem, since now I'm starving. Of course, none of the fruits are ripe. Of course not. That, that would make it just too easy. Too easy. Here's some mushrooms. If I can find the other ones, we can make some stew. Rain and... ooh! Blueberry! What? You're not ripe yet either? Curses! There's one! Eat that right up. Oh dear. Oh! And I ate too soon. Could have combined it with the strawberry for a berry bowl. Oh well. I'm, I kind of want to hold on to this one just in case. Ooh, another gourd garden. Yes, much better. Yeah, we have some cantaloupe. One of my favorites. Winter squash. That's yeah, really good. This stuff looks like it would be delicious, but I don't think we can actually eat it. Okay, what else we got here? So many plants. So many, many flowers. And not enough of them are edible. Mmm, artichoke. Not, not a big vegetable fan in real life, I'll be honest. Broccoli, only with dip. Scallion, that's more of a uh, topping than really a main. I feel. There's a lot of cows here. You know, I'm I'm sure we wouldn't miss just one. Ta-da! Three whole raw beef. Excellent. That'll be great. Ooh, and a berry garden. You know what? I'm gonna pick this one up. And it's the only one I see. And replant it back at the house. The hut. The cabin. I don't know what to call it. It's just a little starting point. Just a shelter to return to. Not uh, my ideal home. Oh, come on! Creeper, it's not even dark yet. It's not even nighttime yet. And you're already attacking me. Oh dear. Don't. Okay, he's over there. I'm like, no, caught in the corner. I cannot climb the hill. He doesn't bother me. Alright. So, lovely neighborhood, um, not so lovely neighbors. Isn't that how it always goes? Nice neighborhood, nice neighbors, decent school system, pick two, something like that. 
Where was my uh, shack? Was it down here? Yeah, I can see the giant blackberry bush. There we go. I really need to light that area up as well. It's just spawning more death in the middle of the day. We can't have that. You know what? I have spare torches. Let's do this. Spider, I'm not your enemy! I'm not your enemy! Ow! Okay, well, you started it. That was when you pick a fight. You die. Well, somebody does. Okay. So now that this episode is significantly longer than the last one, we're going to go ahead and get inside, grab ourselves a couple bites to eat, maybe some fish, some beef. Um, not e eaten recently yet. We've already passed the uh, grace period, so it's time to get some variety in our diet. Um, yeah, we'll just put in a couple sticks there. It'll, it'll start. It'll start. Okay, so I'm going to organize my stuff a little bit, come up with a plan of attack, um, and we'll start uh, probably planting some things next time when we continue to try not to starve. Of course, it's usually a different game, but it applies here too. Anyways, my name is Michael Batman Guy. I'll see you next time.